What's up, YouTube? Bold and understanding here. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. And I put it off for a second. But I'm glad I'm back into it. I'm just going to talk about this right now. So, you know, Floyd Mayweather, he's, you know, one of my favorite fighters inside the ring. Was never really that much of a big fan of him outside the ring. And I'm going to explain why right here. So, we know Floyd and um, Bill Haney has been going back and forth with each other. And um, Bill's been a little bit more vocal, talking about how Floyd um, sit up there and, and uh, pretty much try to take jabs at his son and shit. Uh -uh. Basically, Brian Garcia, I guess, showed the footage or some footage of the spawn between Devin Haney and Tank Davis, where it looked like Tank was getting the best of Devin in that spawn match, but it didn't show the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? But um, even Floyd Mayweather Sr. was like Devin Haney won the spawn match, but I, I believe that they spawned twice, so maybe they might have split. I don't know. But this is the thing what I don't like. You know, Devin Haney grew up in the Floyd Mayweather gym. Although he never signed to TMT promotions, he was still looking up to Floyd Mayweather, right? So maybe there's some jealousy there between, you know, or some animosity because Devin Haney didn't sign to TMT promotions and stuff. But the thing is, is that Devin Haney and Bill Haney, they wanted to go the independent route. They wanted to do their own thing. Now, mind you, I'm not even a, really that much of a fan of Devin Haney, but I do respect it. I do respect him as a fighter, and I respect his team and stuff. I like the way his team moves and stuff like that. And this kid can really fight, and he's the real deal. I ain't even on front. But when it comes to Floyd, you had a kid that grew up in your gym, and Floyd and, and Leonard, they kind of like try to downplay and take shots at Devin Haney. Well, Floyd, he, he you know, he does it in a subliminal way, and then Linda, he just comes out and just, you know, blatantly say what he got to say and shit. But, um, so when Ryan Garcia leaked that footage, that pissed Devin Haney off. De Devin Haney basically said Floyd Mayweather, you know, is pretty foul. You know, it's kind of jealous or whatever. And I think Bill said, well, you know, Floyd, um, got that work from Devin when he was preparing for that Conor McGregor fight. So, Devin Haney was pretty upset. Now, me personally, I don't know if I'd be upset about a fucking spawn footage or whatever, but I could get where he's coming from. I get where he's coming from on this. Floyd Floyd, Floyd is, a, is, is, is a big time snake. Um, last year, and Bill brought this up too when he was hating on Devin, he said Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather tried to take a shot at Terrence Crawford, basically try to discredit his win over Earl Spence, which Floyd did. And I was going to do a video about that shit last year, but I said, you know what? Fuck it. But I know people was talking about it. Floyd Mayweather last year tried to say Earl Spence should be fighting at 160 after he got his ass whipped by fucking Terrence Crawford. Now, notice Floyd ain't never said that shit before the fight. He ain't said nothing about Earl Spence should have been fighting at 160. As soon as he, Earl Spence get his ass whooped, all of a sudden he should be fighting at 160 or even 168. You know what I think happened? I think Terrence Crawford fucked up the plan because uh, they was going to try to use Earl Spence to fight Canelo. And because Earl Spence got obliterated, that shit ain't work out. So it may be, he probably fucked up the money. But um, anyway... That was a weak ass fucking dis uh, excuse, you know, that Floyd Mayweather gave. And I'm surprised, like, when he took that that jab at, but I'm surprised he ain't called Floyd up and said, dude, what are you doing, man? Like, what are you doing? Now, mind you, they did fucking Terrence Crawford dirty. And I'm talking about the PBC in the hole. Here it is, you got Terrence Crawford right there. He enters the division. 
Earl Spence was trying to get that fight with Jeff um, Horn. We all know the story. He was trying to get that, that fight with Jeff Horn before Terrence Crawford, you know, ended up getting that fight. Because he wanted to get that WBO belt before Terrence Crawford did. But, you know, it didn't pan out that way. And Jeff Horn was signed to top rank at the time. But it's funny when, uh, we all know the story, when Terrence Crawford got to the welterweight all of a sudden, this motherfucker was on the other side of the street. <laughs> You know, all that, you know, the excuses they did. It made Terrence Crawford wait five years before Terrence Crawford unleashed the beast on Earl Spence and then beat his ass. They thought, they thought Terrence Crawford was going to be too old to compete, be slowing down out his prime and shit, which I, I think, you know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford is, is not in his prime, but he's damn sure better than like 99.9% of these motherfuckers and shit. So, uh, that shit, that plan failed, and it's like, okay, now we're going to talk shit. So, Floyd comes out again and said, since David Benavidez and um, Terrence Crawford both want Canelo that bad, then they shouldn't be fighting each other. Like, th mind you. A couple of years ago, Floyd Mayweather was sitting there when he was promoting the whole Tank Davis joint. I believe it was probably against Roley. And he came out and said, David Benavidez, you know, or Canelo was scared. He said he thinks Canelo was scared of David Benavidez. Like, we've we seen that video. Now, he's saying that David Benavidez should fight Terrence Crawford. <laughs> like, as if David Benavidez didn't already earn the shot. Not as if... David Benavidez don't even have a fight lined up coming real soon. They act like that shit ain't happening. Now, all of a sudden, he needs to fight Terrence Crawford. So, basically, you said you talked all that shit about Canelo. Canelo gets to the WBC. I mean, gets to the PBC. And now you want to put a protection plan around Canelo because you don't want to fuck up the bag. Because you want to profit off that shit. Not to mention, not before that. He's saying, well, David Benavidez needs to just keep fighting champion after champion after champion. Then he'll eventually make his money. And, you know, like that type of shit. Basically, what they don't want, they don't want either Terrence Crawford or David Benavidez to beat the fuck out of Canelo at the end of the day. That's what they don't want. Deep down inside, they feel as though both of those guys will beat the shit out of Canelo. Especially, they feel as though David Benavidez will beat the shit out of Canelo. But they don't want to, you know, fucking give that opportunity to David Benavidez. Then, I'm going to tell you another thing about Floyd Mayweather. He sends out another tweet. He talks about um, somebody needs to get Jerron and it's an opportunity. And basically insinuated it should be uh, Terrence Crawford. Since Crawford can't get the fight with Canelo and there's no other options out there for him. So, it's funny that somebody should give Jerron Ennis an opportunity, as in Terrence Crawford, but Canelo doesn't have to give an opportunity to fucking David Benavidez. Like, do you see how this shit is, is, is moving? This motherfucker speaking up for Jerron Ennis, who's not even signed with the PBC. At least not yet. He's not even signed with the PBC, so he want to sit up here and campaign for Jerron Ennis fighting Terrence Crawford but then on downplay a motherfucker who is signed with the PBC as in David Benavidez where though he's trying to tell David Benavidez to fight somebody else besides Canelo so he doesn't get that chance the shit doesn't even make any sense at the end of the day I don't know if this motherfucker got you know some type of I guess uh, narcissistic fucking itis or some shit, but Floyd, man, you terrible, bro. It's the same man who sit up here, go to fucking Gucci after that whole shit with these fucking, um, I guess, a little racial joint with the big lips and everything. They was trying to make fun of uh, black people with the turtlenecks and shit. And then turns around and talk about racism in boxing. But you was going to buy Gucci, even though Gucci did that shit amongst black folks. And you like, you try to pretend like you ain't nobody. You went in there and shopped anyway. 
just for some damn attention. Boy, you make no sense, man. Somebody should, and a lot of people should call him out for it. It's almost like Floyd Mayweather don't want nobody to be better than him. He doesn't. He doesn't want anybody to be better than him. And it's sad. Floyd, you retired. You made a lot of money. You want to say who made the most money? You made the most money when it comes to boxing. But God damn, bro. Let it go, man. I ain't saying let go and make that money shit, but let it go with your fucking ego, for real. You ain't going to be the best thing cooking. I don't even think you the best fighter ever. And you one of my favorites, but you ain't the best fighter to ever do it. Just because you undefeated, it's a lot of people that, that finish their careers undefeated. A lot of people finish their careers undefeated. There are a lot of people that fought tough fights against guys people might not heard of because of popularity shit compared to guys that you fought against that was popular and they probably weren't even that good so you gotta let it go man this shit just makes no sense I mean everybody knows Sugar Ray Robinson was a beast and to be totally honest with you peak for peak cause you and Roy um Roy Jones fought him around the same time, but Roy was a little bit earlier than you. Um, peak for peak, you ain't fucking with Roy Jones, man. I know Roy Jones started taking losses, you know, at the end of his fucking career, and, and after he came back down from heavyweight, he took a loss, you know what I'm saying, a couple of fights later. Man, if Roy Jones would have finished his career after beating John Ruiz... And I know he had that one disqualification loss. Man, they would have had Roy Jones as probably the best fighter ever. The motherfucker was untouchable. That's that's where Roy Jones was projecting to be. You know what I'm saying? It just after you know he went back down and burnt off like 30 pounds of muscles and shit like that. He just kind of was never the same. And plus, as he got older, his athleticism, you know, because that's where he was really based on that athleticism. Once that shit slowed down, he wasn't even the same no more. It's a little bit, a lot easier to get hit. Whereas up before, you couldn't even hit the dude. But um, just because you make a lot of money doesn't mean you're the best. And I'm not just applying to the floor. I'm applying to anybody who ever think they the fuck cash cow. Just because you made a lot of money ain't got nothing to do with being the best. That just has something to do with marketability. And if you can market a fighter to make a lot of money, to win, you know, as long as they keep performing... You can set shit up like fake fights and everything else. Motherfuckers taking dives and shit. You know, I ain't accusing nobody of it. But I'm just saying, all you got to do is be popular. And if you don't believe me, ask Jake Paul. And that's all I got. Rate, comment, and subscribe. You watching Bold and Understanding. And on the end of that note, family, peace.